GCSE Economics video with me, Mr Goff, from MrGoff.com. Today's video will focus on the effects of competition on consumers and producers. At first thought, you might think that competition is a big problem for producers. But in fact, competition actually has a number of benefits for producers. One of these is that it encourages efficiency. This has led over the years to a big increase in computerization and mechanization. Both of these things have led to big increases in productivity. Another way that producers can benefit from competition is through innovation. Those that come up with innovative new products that consumers desire are able to charge very high prices for them before their competitors can catch up and offer a similar product. The negative side for producers is that if a business fails to adapt, their entire business can fail. So to summarise, competition will be very good for producers who are able to make efficiency savings or innovate in ways that give them greater profits. They'll be able to use these to reinvest in their business and make further profit in the future. On the other hand, firms that are unable to adapt and unable to compete may go out of business and for them competition would be a negative. Competition can bring a wide number of benefits for consumers. First of all, as firms compete, some of them will lower their prices. This means that consumers won't have to spend as much of their money on their goods, and they'll be able to have more money left over to buy more of the things that they want. In addition, some firms will focus on providing better quality goods, and consumers will benefit from these higher quality goods that they will enjoy more and that will last longer. Because of the increased number of firms, there's now a wider choice of products in the market. It's more likely that consumers will find something that meets their needs. All of these factors will lead to a better quality of life for consumers. There can, however, be some costs that consumers face as a result of competition. This can include harmful products that are added to food, such as additives to make it last longer, or even pesticides that are used on crops to try and grow more. It can include aggressive advertising that leads people to spend money that they can't really afford. And while some firms will increase quality, others will cut corners to be able to lower the prices, and this can lead to defective and lower quality products. The Competitions and Markets Authority, or CMA for short, is the competition regulator in the United Kingdom. The CMA works to promote competition for the benefit of consumers from both the UK and outside. The CMA perform a variety of roles. They investigate mergers between organisations to make sure that if they go through, they won't reduce competition. Recently, they denied Asda and Sainsbury's the chance to merge, saying that it would have reduced competition in the supermarket industry and been bad for consumers. They also investigate entire markets if they think there is a competition or consumer problem there. An example of this is their investigation of the retail banking market. This looked into the supply of personal current accounts and banking services to small and medium-sized enterprises. The CMA is also able to take action against businesses and individuals that take part in cartels or anti-competitive behaviour. This is where firms get together and agree to keep prices unnaturally high. This is known as collusion and it's illegal. They also protect consumers from unfair trading practices. Things like deceptive messages or leaving out important information and aggressive sales techniques. That brings us to the end of this look at the effects of competition on consumers and producers. I hope you'll join me again in the next video where we'll be looking at monopolies, oligopolies and competitive markets. Try the resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise economics and until next time, it's bye for now.